So this is a quad dominant walking lunge, okay? I like to actually do these in bare feet because it's a really good way of training those smaller stabilizing muscle groups uh, of your feet and ankles to basically give you a good stable base that will carry over to your other compound movements like squatting, okay? But you don't have to do them in bare feet, it's just my preference. Some gyms don't like that, okay? So what we're looking to do here is we're looking to achieve the greatest degree of knee flexion possible. So I wanna see the knee traveling forward as we come down. If we wanna do a glute dominant lunge, then we would look for for out and then straight down with almost vertical shin. What we're looking for is that knee traveling forward so that we're maxing out range of motion at the ankle, maxing out the amount of flexion we can achieve without letting the heel come off the floor. That bit's really important, okay? So it's gonna look like this. Keeping the hips parallel, obviously you'll load it with dumbbells once you build up to that level. And step forward, stabilize, and then push your knee forward until that back knee lightly touches the floor. Don't smash it into the ground. Pushing that knee forward, creating that nice stable base with the foot. And what we don't want to do is have this little break in between. So we're not looking to take that equalizing step because the ratio on walking lunges of work to rest is already pretty low. We're looking for a nice controlled eccentric phase. Mistake people make here with walking lunges, they do a really short eccentric, so all of the movement is just this useless act of walking, or their eccentric's really quick and uncontrolled. If we're looking to use them as a hypertrophy movement, we want nice and slow and controlled on that way down, straight through to the next rep, pushing that knee forward on each rep, so we're maximizing the amount of knee flexion we'll get, and therefore the amount of stimulus that the quads receive.